Alrighty folks, this video is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm not going to do a lot of talking in it. I'm just going to tell you the materials you're going to need is a canvas bag you can get at Walmart, um, some paints, any kind, you know, acrylic paint, paint markers, um, and I'm using a roll of masking tape here and just a pencil. I actually switched to a permanent marker so you guys could see it better what I was doing with the... Uh, tape here but I'm just writing out my words freehand. I actually wanted to make this bag so I could carry my notebooks and things in it to work when I have downtime. I like to try to work on my writing so I thought read always would be a cool little phrase to put on the bag. In high school, I had a teacher named Gray Carl. Miss Carl was um, just a really wonderful art teacher. She encouraged us to tap into our own personal abilities and not so much follow the, you know, taught us to go against the grain, basically. So I'm kind of dedicating this video to Miss Carl because one of the first just really awesome projects that we did in her class was something similar to this. We had um, <clears throat> brought in t-shirts and Miss Carl had us use simple materials like masking tape and spray paint actually to do our t-shirts and she just gushed over my project so much that it made me feel really good. So this just kind of makes me think of Miss Carl as I do this project and I hope you guys are inspired to do your own um, version of this just you know that's what art is all about it's about what inspires you what makes you feel good about what you're doing and and I just really enjoy just doing something on the fly like this like Outlining the lettering the way I'm doing here, it kind of gives it a three-dimensional effect and I really think that it's important to completing your project. So if you're doing this, I absolutely recommend outlining the lettering this way. It was something I didn't even think about until I had finished and I kind of stepped back and looked at it and thought, what can I do to it to give it more, to make it pop a little more? And that definitely worked. So. So there you go. There's our finished bag. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.